You ready to get crunk now, Ray? Is this crunk? This is getting crunk. You gotta do like this. You gotta pull like down. This? You gotta pull down, down or yeah. up? Pull, 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 pull. pull. pull, pull. Uh, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Booming 808 beats, catchy group vocal hooks, quick hi-hat rolls, and a triplet rap flow. These are some of the defining features of trap music, today's most popular hip-hop genre. But let's go back 25 years to a group that pioneered the sound before the word trap was even used to describe music. In our episode on trap music, we covered how the genre was formed in Atlanta by artists Gucci Mane, T.I., and Young Jeezy to become the phenomenon that it is today. But now, we want to focus on a group that came before them and laid the groundwork for Trap, 3-6 Mafia. What we call trap music today is really a blend of several hip-hop genres from all over the South. One of the most influential is Crunk, a slower, more severe style of rap music that weave club and party culture with gang life. And although 3-6 Mafia are responsible for popularizing the genre, the sound can be traced to another Memphis artist, DJ Spanish Fly. On your way back, bring me his son. I'm not familiar with any of these artists. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's been eye-opening. Not even like the newer stuff like Soulja Boy? You know about Soulja yeah, Boy? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. That's good. For me as a musician, hearing the different elements of what goes into music, like crunk music, mm -hmm. it makes me kind of think about, oh, these specific musical elements really allow the musician yes. to tap into these types of emotions, and I think that's fascinating. Sonically, Kronk emphasizes aggression and tension via minor chords, slow tempos, distorted bass, contrasting rhythms, and often abrasive timbres. You can hear this in the video game-like beats of Tommy Wright III. Early crunk producers often use these homemade sounds in place of the standard hip-hop building blocks of funk and soul samples used by East Coast rappers. This sound was paralleled by the growing popularity of a dancing style called gangsta walking, which moved between elegant fluid footwork to dramatic pop locking and stomps. <laughs> In the early 90s, 3-6 Mafia emerged from Memphis's DIY mixtape community, where local artists would create and sell cassette tapes that mixed their own music with popular hip hop. While in high school, DJ Paul and Lord Infamous formed the Serial Killers and put out regular mixtapes, adding their own production and layers of triplet rap flows to hip hop hits. These self-produced hybrid playlists allowed up and coming and entrepreneurial rappers to promote their music and make money in the process. In the early 90s, the duo began working with other local artists. After adding producer Juicy J, rappers Gangsta Boot, Crunchy Black, and Coops to join, and the group took on the name 3-6 Mafia. As Crunk became more popular in Memphis during the early 90s, the city's black community was under siege from the crack epidemic. Increasing street violence made it one of America's most dangerous cities. The hard-hitting sound of 3-6 Mafia echoed the rawness of these issues. The vocal chants, Lord Infamous's triplet flows, and DJ Paul's menacing minimalist beats created the model for early crunk and the sonic template for trap music. Like its ultra-violent lyrics, 3-6 Mafia emphasized tension sonically in the music. In their 1997 track, Prophet Posse, the sample of the Trickerman beat is in a different key than the synthesizer melodies, creating a polytonal harmony, the simultaneous use of two or more keys in a musical composition. Of course, it's not a new trick. This technique has been used by many composers, including myself, to create tension between what most listeners expect, a standard progression that resolves to a stable tonic, and what we get, dissonance. So this is an example of polyharmony. We have one key, E major, another one, F major, combine them, something like this. Three Six Mafia's beats lay down the groundwork for today's trap music. Their songs amp up the listener through heavy bass lines, synthesizer melodies, minor key harmonies that create a foreboding mood, and of course, the roll in 808. 
We can even hear how these intermittent hi-hat rolls would turn into the rapid-fire hi-hat sound of Atlanta Trap. Beats are not the only way 3-6 has inspired today's rap music. Today we call the double-time triplet flow the Migos flow. I gave her 10 racks, I told her go shop it and spend it all at the pop-up. But it's actually Lord Infamous of 3-6 Mafia who is credited as the originator. When you watch the wilderness, be very quiet, Lord Infamous might be a stop and suggest While this claim caused beef between 3-6 Mafia and Cleveland's Bone Thugs and Harmony, the Memphis flow was declamatory, in your face, regular in meter, and more staccato than Bone Thugs' harmonic and more rhythmically complex group rapping. Here's the trap superstar 2 Chainz stating this claim in his song Trap Back. This phone come from Drizzy, he got it from Migos, they got it from 3-6 Look at In the early 2000s, Crunk rocked the charts. Songs by Atlanta-based artists like Lil Jon and the Eastside Boys, Get Low, and the Ying Yang Twins, Salt Shaker, had crossover popularity both in dance clubs and in the strip club scene. Variations of Crunk began emerging on hip-hop radio, like snap music. Somewhere during this time, the sounds of crunk, snap, trap, and other hip-hop genres from the South all merged into one. Today, we just call it all trap, but it's really a mix of New Orleans bounce, Houston chopped and screwed, Miami bass, and Memphis crunk. It's hard to point the origin to one city or artist, but 3-6 Mafia were instrumental in creating the sound of modern hip-hop. Their inspiration can be heard in everything from the Migos flow to ASAP Mob's beats. Some artists even go so far as copying the group Chance. Rapper Travis Scott was sued by DJ Paul for using the Tear the Club Up chant in his 2018 song, No Bystanders. Nare and I are going to create a 3-6 Mafia-inspired track. The simplicity is the main thing. Notice all this stuff going on in the track, mm -hmm. and it still sounds simple. Maybe it's because of the polytonality. It has to rub. The different chords have to rub. Let's see. Real quick, Nari, what is that from? What, is, what are you doing? You just made that up just now? Yeah. Okay, can, can you remember that? Can we keep that? <laughs> I lost it already, no. One of the characteristics of crunk music is the distorted 808. Like, you know what I'm saying? You uh -huh. hear that in the trunk rattling down the street, like you know the 808 uh -huh. definitely distorted. Got it. But other ones is like, with the attack really punching. Mm -hmm. And usually I want to go for like a more clean, more round, mm -hmm. more warm 808. I stay away from the distorted joints, but this is going to be cool. I think it'll be fun for us to put th this together because we can just be uninhibited. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Check out our other series, America from Scratch, another PBS Digital Studio show that asks, what would America be like if it was founded today? It tackles big questions. What if there are no states? Should we lower the voting age? Should we colonize Mars? Woo! Howdy, partner! It's like the best civics class ever. Subscribe to America from Scratch using the link in the description below. We put the instrumental of our original song on SoundCloud, so go download it and rap on it. Go ahead. Oh.